Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey, Calvary, thanks for joining me for your word for the day. I get to share with you one of my favorite passages in the whole Bible. It comes from Philippians 2. Actually, I love all of Philippians 2, but I like verses 1 and 2, how Paul kicks this section off. Listen to it, verses 1 and 2 of chapter 2. So, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any comfort from love, any participation in the Spirit, any affection and sympathy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. So Paul is like saying, do you have any encouragement in Jesus? Do you have any love, any participation in the Spirit? If you have any of that, then do this for me. Be of the same mind. So one way to look at this is that in the Christian life, we are looking for unity, not uniformity. Okay, As a church, we want people to be unified around a mission, not to be uniform. We're not looking for Christians to be like little uh, uh, cookie cutter gingerbread men that are all the same. No, we want them to be uniquely themselves, but unified in a mission. Now, this plays itself out in a lot of ways because there are plenty of controversies that could tear us apart and could destroy our unity. I mean, one of them is today. Today is Halloween. And boy, there has been so much controversy on how a Christian should observe or not observe this holiday. What should you do with Halloween? You know, we don't have to be uniformly agreed upon how to do that, but we should be unified that whatever we're doing today to celebrate or not celebrate Halloween, that we are aiming for that ultimate goal that people would know Jesus and know what it means to have a life that's changed because of Jesus. So I don't know what you're going to do today, but whatever it is, I hope that it is reaching out to people. I hope that it's influencing them with the gospel and with the love of Jesus. And if you're looking for something to do and you want to hang out with us down on Main Street, a bunch of us from Calvary will be down there on McCulloch having a good time and reaching out to our community. Uh, we're just a few days away from another thing that's going to drive uh, unity away. We're, gonna, we're coming up to the election, right? And no matter what happens in America, about 50% of the people are going to be disappointed with the results. But as Christians, we don't have to be uniform in how we vote. We should be voting. We should be out there letting our voice be known. But we can be unified on some key principles. Even though we may not all vote the same, we might not all think the same about political issues, we can be unified on some key issues. Be unified on the importance of truth. That when we go to vote, we want truth to have its way. We should be unified on the idea of religious freedom. I mean, we want to have the ability to uh, worship and to live out our beliefs. We should be unified on the idea of freedom of expression and freedom of speech. We don't want our freedoms to be hindered. And so when we vote, we should vote in light of that freedom. And then, of course, we also want to have... Um, the, the value of human life. I can't believe I had to look at my notes to remember that. But hey, the value of human life, because in human life, we have God's image preserved. And so when we vote, we should be voting and being committed to these principles. Are we all going to vote the same? No way. I know it's not going to all be the same. We're not to be uniform, but we can be unified around some of the key truths of Scripture. I hope that you will pursue unity this week, Calvary. Have a great day.